In this problem, we have a mixture created by mixing water with antifreeze, and we want to find the specific gravity of this new mixture. So I'm going to call it Sg sub m. I'm going to use the subscript w to refer to water, and I'm going to use the subscript a to refer to antifreeze. So for example, a problem tells us that the specific gravity of antifreeze is equal to 0 0.8. Now remember, the specific gravity is equal to the density of a thing divided by the density of water. It's that ratio of, that, of something's density to the density of water. So the specific gravity of the mixture is the density of the mixture, rho sub m, to the density of water, rho sub w. If we don't have the density of the mixture, that's one of the things we'll need to first find. Uh, but density is equal to mass over volume, so you can also write this as being equal to the mass of the mixture, m sub m, divided by the volume of the mixture, v sub m, over the density of water. And to make this look a little neater, I'm going to bring this down into the denominator. So I'm going to rewrite this as the mass of the mixture divided by the density of water, times the volume of the mixture. We don't have the mass of the mixture either, but we do know that the mass has two components to it. There is water and antifreeze in it. So I'm going to rewrite the numerator as being uh, where m sub m is equal to the mass of the water plus the mass of the antifreeze, and it's all divided by the density of the water times the volume of the mixture, the final mixture. But again, we don't have the masses of either of these things, so we'll want to expand a little further here. Um, the mass of the water. We're not told what the mass of the water is, but because density is equal to mass over volume, we can algebraically rewrite this uh, to find out that mass is equal to density times volume. So the mass of the water is just going to be equal to the density of the water, times the volume of the water, and this is plus the mass of the antifreeze. So the mass of the antifreeze, again, it's going to be density times volume. So the density of the antifreeze is just the specific gravity of the antifreeze times the density of water. That's how specific gravity works. You can find the density of a substance by taking its specific gravity and multiplying it by the density of water. Uh, and then we're multiplying it by the volume, so the volume of the antifreeze. And all this is divided by the density of the water times the volume of the mixture. Well, we can do a little bit of simplifying here, because since this uh, rho sub w term is in all three terms here, they can cancel out. So we can simplify this expression down a bit to the volume of the water plus the specific gravity of the antifreeze times the volume of the antifreeze, all over the volume of the mixture. Now we have this equation entirely in terms of things we have, because we're given the volume of the water, we're given the specific gravity of the antifreeze, we're given the final volume of the mixture, and the volume of the antifreeze. So that's everything we need, and we don't even need to do any unit conversions. So if we put this into our calculator, we find a specific gravity for the mixture of about 0 0.91. So that is the answer to this problem. That's all for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me make more videos like this. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you just want to hang out, um, I have a Discord server and my Twitch page linked in the description down below, so feel free to check those out if you'd like. But anyways, that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.